Okay, the stuff finally arrived. I wanted to uh, have a cabin out in the woods. I wanted to be able to get a, a small solar panel. This is uh, 25 watts. I think it was about $35, but they had some kind of um, package deal where you could get the charger and the battery, which I'm not sure if I like the battery. It's kind of a small one. But uh, the whole thing is about $70. And I um, thought it was a good deal. I, I didn't need the get a big solar panel, I don't think, because I'm only out there you know, once a week or once every couple of weeks. And so I figured I could charge up the battery all the time I'm not there. Okay. Here's the solar panel box. Let's see what's inside of here. And so I'll probably get a bigger battery, probably a deep cycle battery or something. So we can uh, charge that up through the week. And um, I can have power for a few hours when I'm on the weekend. And it won't, uh, maybe I can put it off the side of the building or something. So I don't need to worry about damaging the roof. Put the solar panel on it. Okay. See that okay? So here's a solar panel. It's the front of it. Looks like it's got some kind of glass over the front of it. And there's some wires in the back. What is this? So it's not too big. Looks like it's got some mounting screws. We should be able to mount it on brackets. And uh, looks like I'm telling you about plus to plus, minus to minus. Look it up to the power conditioner. So, and, uh, I guess if somebody tries to steal it or something, not too much money because those are those are only thirty-five dollar solar panels, so that shouldn't be too bad. And it's inside of here. Started to open it already, but uh, okay. See, we can see there's a little box here. This is supposed to be the power conditioning unit for a solar cell, solar charger. It's got some directions and stuff in there. Okay, I'll look through those in a second. And well, let's take a look at this guy. It looks like it has some uh, lugs here so you can plug in things like solar panels. It's got a picture of a solar panel there, a battery there, and some light bulbs here. Some USB chargers. That's interesting. And uh, I'll have to read the directions. I'm not sure if uh, it needs an external battery or internal battery or if it's powered off the, uh, the lead acid battery that we're going to be using or what. item here. And this looks like a kind of small lead acid battery. I might uh, get a higher capacity one. And uh, yeah, this is small. It's smaller than that. It's like a motorcycle battery or something. Should be able to do some testing with it. It's actually more like an alarm size battery. Okay. Well, let's take a look here. We have the plus and the minus. It looks like it's got some kind of clip leads you can stick on there. And uh, you know, that, that probably doesn't have a lot of. What is it? 12 volts, 7 amp hours. Okay, so I believe the m big marine battery I had was like uh, 90 some amp hours, so over 10 times greater capacity than this, but well, it's something. Okay, let's see, maybe we'll try hooking it up and seeing uh, how much power we can get out of this guy. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look here. 
here's our charger, our battery, and our solar panel. Okay. And uh, let's see how much voltage this uh, solar panel is putting out. We'll test it with the voltmeter. Okay, so here we go. We have uh, the mad scientist's uh, best friends here, uh, clip leads, and we've got our solar panel, and it is a uh, nice sunny day here in Virginia. And so let's uh, try to hook up. Let's see, I believe that there are some, some leads under the solar panel. I'll tie it in a knot here. Let's pull these guys out. Okay. And I will hook these up to the clip leads here, plus, minus, we'll see what kind of voltage we're getting out of this thing. Okay. So it looks like about 21.5 volts DC. Okay, not too bad. So that's about how much the solar panel puts out, and just, uh, just to make sure that that's coming from the solar panel, let's let's try to put our hand over it. See the voltage drops. It takes take the box. Let's put the box. We'll put this thing in the shade. How about that? Make a sh shadow over it. Okay. Okay, so that's actually almost completely shaded from the direct sunlight, and it's still still producing 18 volts. Of course, we don't know how much current is associated with that because we're not drawing any power. So maybe we'll try hooking that up to um, our battery uh, power modulator and uh, hook that up to our battery and see see how much power we're getting out of it. Okay. okay, I guess while we're testing things, let's test the voltage of the battery as well. So I have this hooked up on the voltage scale. And it looks like it's about 12.8 volts, about what you'd expect from a lead acid battery. Okay. And let's see if we can hook this up to our power modulator and charge the battery. Anyway, I just want to take a little bit closer look at this solar panel. Looks like it's pretty solid. Looks like it can uh, stand to be out in the weather. It's aluminum frame around here, glass over the top. I think it looks pretty nice. We'll see how it holds up, I guess. Okay. Okay, so the, uh, in the instructions said the first thing we need to do is hook up the battery. So if you look at the center piece, the battery's in here. We need a screwdriver, so we got a screwdriver to screw the lugs up and down. So it looks like we can open them up by unscrewing them like that. Okay. I'm just going to stick some temporary wires in just to test it. And uh, I happen to have some red and black wires around here. You don't want to get it confused. That could be very bad to uh, hook this up backwards. So we'll get the red and the red and the black and the black right here. And screw these things down. Hold those wires in place. So the direction did say if you do this in the wrong order you can damage the unit. Okay. So we have the red and the black wire screwed into there. And um, sometimes I run out of red and black clip leads. So I can use the uh, yellow and green ones, I guess, instead of the red and black. Hook the, uh, I usually hook the yellow to the red, because it seems like a closer color. And you probably don't want these to short together either, so be careful with that. Sometimes I'll hold the clip leads under something. You can make sure to trace out your wires, black, black, black. So once you, once you hook it up, okay. If it damages something, you can't. We'll do a, do a re refresh start. Okay, so there we hook up the power to it. And it says about 13 volts, 12.9 volts on the battery. 
and it's just drawing power right now. Okay. So let's try to hook the solar cells into it now. And we'll see what happens then. These are kind of already stripped back a little bit. So we will put this in black to black. Let's unscrew these up. And red to red, red to positive, black to negative. Okay. these wires a little bit too so they don't fray apart. Twist those wires in there. Like so. And we'll tighten that up. Okay. And now it says the battery voltage is higher. It says 13 volts, and it says it's got a picture of a solar panel charging the battery. And uh, I'll have to look at the directions some more to see what else uh, you can do with this. I'd like to be able to read how much power it's drawing, because that's really the important factor. They claim it's 25 watts, and so that would be nice to know. Okay. So anyway. Well, it looks like it's working.